Hello, sunshine. It's me, Dr. Stacey N.C. Grant, celebrity guest host, back again at the Network Journal's 2014 40 Under 40 Awards. I'm standing here with a very distinguished one of our honorees, Mr. Nora Gatachu, Esquire. We're so excited to honor you. Please tell us what it is that you do and what inspires you to do your job every day. Great. I am the campaign manager and legislative counsel at the Brennan Center for Justice. I focus on national voting and advocacy um, work related to campaign finance and voting. And at this moment in our history, it's more important than ever to get our people involved and engaged in their democracy and making sure that their voice is heard, that elections are free, fair, and accessible to all. Awesome. Well, you can see why she's being recognized today, her passion around the work. If there's somebody watching, we have a lot of young people that tune in. What would you tell them if they wanted to be someone who grows up to be an advocate for the rights of others? I would say look at this moment in our history. Know that you are a stakeholder for your community. Get involved, get engaged at the local level and work your way up. Know that all of our ancestors fought hard for us to get here. And at this moment, more than ever, we need people focused on how we can better our communities. Well, isn't she making our ancestors proud? Congratulations again and stay tuned to TNJ.com. Hello, sunshine. It's me, Dr. Stacey N.C. Grant, back again as your celebrity guest host for the 2015 40 Under 40 Awards at the Network Journal. I'm so excited because I have standing next to me a very beautiful and dynamic honoree. She actually lives in our neighborhood, actually know her parents very well, but I'll keep it professional right now because now we're here to honor you and congratulate you for the work that you're doing. Nyla Flake Brown, you are amazing. Tell the world what you do on a daily basis. So I am a managing director at Morgan Stanley. I've been there for 15 years working in the commercial real estate group. I'm head of coverage and originations for large institutional clients. I also have figured out a way in between everything I do at work to start my own dance school in Queens. So I'm the founder and director of InterVisions Theater Art Center where we provide dance and fitness programs to students in the community um, age three up until adults. And I actually know some of the kids in the community who attend, so you're doing a great work, going beyond just the day-to-day -day at your job where you're making an impact, but giving back. I think you might have learned a little bit of that from mom and dad. I sure did. Reverend sure Flake, did. The, the double Reverend Flakes from Allen Cathedral, so that's a shout out to them. But you are an example of excellence. You've worked hard, you've shown yourself to be a woman of character, a woman of dedication to the community, and young girls all over are looking at you right now. What would you say to them if they want to grow up and be like you one day? I would absolutely say anything you want to do, put your mind to it, write down your goals, including the obstacles that may get in your way, and figure out what the things, uh, what steps you can take in order to overcome those obstacles, and you'll be on your way. So just focus, put your head down, and just know that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Amen. And that's the best way to sign off on TNJ.com. Congratulations again, and may God just continue to order your steps as you are a blessing to our society. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Hello, sunshine. It's me, Dr. Stacey N.C. Grant, celebrity guest host, back again on the red carpet at the Network Journal's 2015 40 Under 40 Awards. I'm standing here with the beautiful, the talented, the dynamic Janae Ingram. She is the executive director for National Action Network. What a job. What an amazing space you hold with advocacy for the civil rights of so many. What inspires you to do your job? Well, I think just seeing the state of the world today, I think a lot of people have forgotten that civil rights did, the civil rights movement and the struggle for civil rights did not end in the 50s or 60s, but it's a continued process and we have to be vigilant about continuing to make sure our rights are sustained. Um, there are a lot of efforts to undermine all that we achieved 50 years ago and, and even more. So we have to really come together and, and fight for those rights that we have maintained and fight for additional rights and new rights and, and continue the march toward progress. Absolutely. And what I love is the fact that we know girls run the world. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and there are so many that are watching right now and they're looking at you and they're saying, wow, she's beautiful, she's intelligent, she's talented, she's recognized as 40 under 40 honoree. What would you say to someone who might not think they have what it takes to do what you've accomplished in such a short span of life? Well, I 
was once one of those young girls. I came from Camden, New Jersey, and a lot of people said I would never make it out, and here I am to prove them wrong. So I think ultimately you have to believe in yourself. You have to have faith in God that no matter what anyone else will say, if you put your mind to something and God is behind you and, and your foundation, that you can do all things through Christ. So that, that's, that's what I would say to any young girl who wants to know if they can make it. I love it. And I knew why we were cut from a same cloth because that's my favorite verse in the Bible. And what we want to do at TNJ.com is inspire you, inspire you to know that you can dream a bigger dream and that here as we recognize distinguished honorees like Janae, we want you to do your part to make the world a better place. This is Dr. Stacey N.C. Grant and Janae Ingram signing off. Yeah.